guys. So we learned about the right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle right before this. And we're going to do a little practice with identifying right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles. Now, if you have an index card at your house, something like this, I want you to make a right angle finder, okay? An index card, or you could probably even use a piece of paper. And you can see Mrs. Smith wrote right angle finder. And I drew a black line down my sides. And I put my 90 degree angle, or a right angle here in the corner. So I made it into a square. So this will be very helpful for you to find different angles. So I'm going to show you how to use this nifty right angle finder. So these aren't necessarily all right angles, or these aren't all acute angles, or these aren't all obtuse angles. I just wrote those vocab words up there so we could remember. So we have these just regular angles. Remember, an angle is when two rays meet and form a vertex. So I have my special right angle finder, my handy dandy right angle finder, and I'm going to line my bottom, line it up with the bottom ray. Now if you look, right here is my right angle. This line goes up here. And if my ray goes outside of my right angle, what do we call that? I'm going to give you a second to think about that. Pause the video if you need to. And if you remember, it is wider or bigger than a right angle. We call that obtuse. So this is an obtuse angle. All right, let's check this one down here. Get my handy dandy right angle finder out. I match up my bottom lines, bottom ray. And if you look, this is exactly right on my vertical and horizontal line. So this must be a right angle. Due to my right angle finder, it tells me this is actually a right angle. And I put that special square in there that shows me it's 90 degrees. So I'm going to call this a right angle. Now, these are not all simple with just angles. Sometimes they want you to find the angle of a shape. So we see this shape has three sides. We should know by now that that's a triangle. And I'm going to put my handy dandy right angle finder right here in the corner. And you know what? I line up my bottom line and I don't see this line. So that means it is less than 90 degrees. And if you remember, if an angle is less than 90 degrees, that means it's called an acute angle. So if we can't see that second line using our handy dandy right angle finder, that means it's an acute angle. Okay? And you can also practice this way. We can't see that line. That means this angle is also an acute angle. And I can even try it here using this corner. I can't see that line, so that means that is also an acute angle. So all three of these angles are actually acute. And you, uh, we call that an acute triangle. That's for another day, though. So let's look at this. This has four sides. You remember, what do we call something that has four sides? You remember our song, we say quadrilateral has four sides, has four sides. Quadrilateral has four sides, has four sides. So if I know this is a quadrilateral, and we talk about the specific name of this quadrilateral, I notice it has one set of parallel lines. So that means it's a trapezoid. Now we're going to look at this angle right here. Put your handy dandy right angle finder on the corner. I don't see that line, which tells me it's less than 90 degrees, which means this angle needs to be an acute angle. Let's check this corner. Again, line up my bottom. 
I don't see this line. That means it's less than 90 degrees. That's also an acute angle, just like this. Okay, let's look at this corner. Sort of have to use it upside down. If I match this corner up, I see my line is wider than 90 degrees. It comes past my 90 degree mark. So if you remember, we call that an obtuse angle. Because remember, Mrs. Smith said it's not really nice, but I think of obese and obtuse, they sound alike, means it's fatter or wider than 90 degrees. And with a trapezoid, if this is an obtuse angle, this is also an obtuse angle. They are the same. All right, so now we've done it with just regular angles. We've done it with shapes. Now looking around my house, I looked at my clock. And I looked at the hour and minute hand on my clock and I thought, hmm, that looks like an angle. Two rays meet to form this vertex. When I use my right angle finder, and I want to figure out what type of angle I would call this. I match up my bottom lines and I notice this is wider than 90 degrees. There's that word wider. Wider, bigger than 90 degrees makes me think of obese, which makes me think of obtuse. This is an obtuse angle. Then the last thing I was looking at is my window. I saw all these lines on my window and I wanted to know what would be my angle. Use my handy dandy right angle finder, match up my bottom line, and it's right there directly on my vertical line. So if we see it's on my horizontal line and my vertical line, that tells me that must be a right angle, 90 degrees, and I mark it with a square corner. Just like that. All right, if you haven't done it already, I want you to go and make yourself a right angle finder. If you don't have an index card, you can just use a piece of paper, okay? and maybe cut it to the size of an index card. You could do that too to make it a little bit more manageable. And I want you to use your right angle finder. And I want you to go all around your house and I want you to see if you can find some right angles using your handy dandy right angle finder. All right, good luck guys. Take some pictures of your right angles.